Hey guys, so uh, I thought I'd do a little video on this issue that's just come up today. Uh, for those that don't know what YouTube has done, they've just basically done this. <laughs> that's right, they've basically just dumped on everyone, especially us smaller YouTubers. Now what you're seeing behind me is a combination of my wardrobe and my other half's wardrobe. But yeah, YouTubers have basically been dumped on from a great height, and it sucks. It really does suck. Personally, I'm not affected by this, thank God. I don't know how I'm not affected by this. Turns out I must be doing alright to not be affected by this. But most YouTubers are going to be affected by these small changes that YouTube has decided to make. Yeah. They basically put a... almost a cap or I'd say a target on what you have to get now to be able to monetize your videos. Uh, most people are looking at this, oh man, my hand's shaky today. Damn it, shaky hand. Most people are um, basically being told that they can no longer monetize their videos. And this is simply <laughs> ridiculous. And it's all down to viewership and subscribers. They've put targets in place. You now have to have a thousand subs and over 4,000 hours of video, I think, in the past year? 4,000 hours? Now, I tied that up, and it seems to me like I am roughly... Uh, let me just check the old laptop here. I should have it on here. Oh, I do not. Anyhow. Yeah, I've done something like 360,000 minutes of content, and people have viewed... Of people have viewed 360,000 minutes, which means I'm within the threshold, and as a result, I can still monetize my videos, which is really kind of stupid because a I don't make much money anyway. I'm not in it for the cash; I'm in it for the fun. Although a little bit extra on the side certainly does go a long way into to improving a channel. For smaller YouTubers, people that are below me, um, and I consider myself to be really small, they are currently locked out of actually being able to monetize the videos at all. I know some people, big YouTubers in particular, are stating that it's not a problem because small YouTubers uh, don't make any money so it shouldn't really be a problem because they should be making it because they're passionate about it. And while I do certainly agree that you need to be passionate to do these videos, I disagree with the fact that they shouldn't be making any money. And this is because certain channels, including myself now, uh, they get to the point in life, as a person, I'm employed, I do 40 hours a week work, and then I do an extra four hours, between four and six hours on a Saturday voluntary work, so I do that for free, which leaves me with not much time to spare in the evenings, and it also means that my expenditure that's currently going out on this house that you guys have seen, and uh, on my bills, is actually more um, than, than than most people have, but it's it's... It means that I can't purchase certain items or products in order to showcase in my videos. And there's certain products that I have got, which is the Orange Pie PC, which I got to showcase my video, uh, to showcase that that idea or that product. There's there's other stuff I've got like the the um, Eagle Box, which is another thing that I bought. But there's certain things that I buy with YouTube money to help me uh, put back into YouTube videos, and. Uh, Sometimes it's a case of I have to save for a few months to get enough money like I'm saving now to get the Asus Tinkerboard um, Some people might save for a game and this money certainly does help no matter how small It helps small channels because it means they can invest what money they get from YouTube back into YouTube and f For me personally, I have this problem so I need to invest the money from YouTube back into YouTube and I'd do that, and if I wasn't able to monetize my videos in such a way that I wasn't earning anything, then I would not be able to put anything in, if you see what I mean. Like some people, they start with a budget, they realize they want to make a business out of it, and so they put money into it. Or they record videos of stuff that they were going to buy anyway that was already cut into their budget, right? But if you're on here and you don't have this stuff cut into your budget, or you don't have the budget anymore to allow it after so long, then you're kind of screwed. And you need that YouTube money to be able to improve yourself or get new things to showcase. And I think it's just wrong. I think it's so bad that YouTube have decided to do this. It really is. It's outrageous. 
it just means that YouTube is now going to be populated by only big YouTubers. And when is that fun going to run out? Because you've got YouTubers that I do respect and YouTubers that everyone look up to, like PewDiePie, who makes millions out of his videos. You've got people like Boogie2988, Jim Sterling on the gaming scene. Uh, you've got Retro Future, which is up and coming now. They're doing quite well. Uh, Random HD Gaming, if you watch him with the PC stuff, really cool. And then you've got people like in the vape scene, like P. Brissardo, Rip Trippers, and they're all making big money. And uh, they all invested some money into what they're doing, which is obviously money that they could have spared in order to do that. But if you don't have that money to spare, then you're kind of relying on YouTube to provide. I think that maybe YouTube needs to reconsider what they're doing because they're essentially pushing a whole lot of smaller channels. And these smaller channels, they might make videos that only get small small amounts of views. Like some of my videos only get a few views, but views is views. It's traffic to YouTube, surely. And traffic is what generates money on a website, so surely that's what generates money on YouTube as well as the ad placements. So yeah, they're making a big mistake. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I think it's a bit of a joke. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Uh, let me know what you think below. If you're a smaller channel and you're watching this, or if you're just a general person and you're seeing this blow up on YouTube, let me know what you think below on this. Because there are two ways to look at it, but I think both ways, it, it, it's completely inconsiderate to small channels. So, I shall see you very soon with another video. And, uh, yeah, see you next time. Cheers!